tomorrow. Well, both the players who could possibly join her have won Super Series titles in the past, so it's bound to be a tough match. Well, our next uh, match is a men's singles, and it features the six-time finalist, Lee Chong Wei, three-time former champion, and he is once again the number one seed. In fact, it's the seventh time in nine years that he's been the number one seed here at the All England Championships. Uh, last year's beaten finalist, Tian Haowei, in the same quarter. My goodness, that's a tough draw, isn't it? So here are the players. Wang Su Wei, whoa, what a wonderful week he had last week in Mulheim at the German. Grand Prix Gold. The Grand Prix Gold is one a level of uh, tournament down from the Super Series. The Super Series is the elite tier of tournaments. And so for him to reach uh, the final of the German Grand Prix Gold, his first ever Grand Prix Gold final. And he created history in another way because it was an all Chinese Taipei men's singles final. The first time that that's happened in the history of the Grand Prix Gold. But what can one say about this man? World number one. Three titles here at the All England. And he stated that this could quite possibly be his last All England for the 34 year old. Born in Penang in Malaysia. Six consecutive finals between 2009. 2014. He really has had the most remarkable career, but you will see the heavy, heavy strapping on his left knee. We'll talk more about that a little later on. Well, in the first round yesterday, he played against the qualifier, Brice Lovedez from France. Now, while that may seem fairly comfortable, I can tell you it was Lovedez who had beaten Lee Chong Wei at the Denmark Premier Super Series in the quarter final last year. So that was a nerve wracking encounter for a first round at New All England. Incidentally, that match where he lost in Denmark happened on his 34th birthday. So to his opponents, well, the 22 year old Wang Su Wei turned 22 last month. Born in Taipei and he is a tall athlete at 178 that's about five foot ten which for singles players i think is reasonably tall of course there's a couple of danes who are taller than that but he is making his first appearance in the last 16 of a premier super series event today so his match yesterday was against Wei Nan of hong kong and he had to come from a game down uh, before winning 21-19, 21-14 in a match just three minutes shy of the hour mark. So he was a silver medalist at World Junior Championships in Bangkok in 2013 as we look at Alan Potter from England, our umpire, and Heidi Marat of Denmark is our service judge, making her debut at the All England Championships as a quarter official. And I understand from you, Steve, that she's felt very proud about that and very excited about the opportunity to officiate here. Yeah, exactly. The umpires, they have also goals for their career umpiring. Yes, that's nice. That really is nice. Well, Lee Chong Wei, well, many people have talked about his retirement. They've talked in the past, but he comes back and he's still world number one. Why would you want to give up when you're world number one and still winning major tournaments? Well, I suppose if you've had enough of it and all the training, I mean, if you could just turn up at the major events and win the big titles, but it's all the background work. It's the hours and hours on the practice courts and in the gym. Ladies and yeah, gentlemen, I remember. on my right, Lee Chong uh, Wai, Canadian Malaysia. player saying, why retire as long as you love what you do? Yeah. At the lower level, but still left. the same. Why Point retire as long as you Chinese love what you do? Taipei. It doesn't go any further than that. Yeah. As long as you love what you do. Yeah. Find your way to serve. Love all. Play. So the second round, then singles in counter. The former champion, the 
world number one, Lee Chong Wai, far side of the court against a player we know is very much in form. Juan Su Wei. Beaten finalist last week at the German Grand Prix Gold and a former medalist at World Junior Championships. We know he's got talent. So it's quite interesting. Lee Chong Wei. This is his first tournament of the year. He's had this injury problem. He slipped in training and damaged his left knee. There was doubt as to whether he'd make it to New England and recover in time. Seven, seven, Wonderful to see one, him here. Two. But that is very, very heavy strapping. Yeah, it seems like. I don't know who put that on. It doesn't seem like it's really, really uh, tight seven, strapped seven, or anything. Three, it seemed a little bit loose to me, that strapping. I hope it's really... Uh, Functional. Thirteenth appearance at the World Junior Championships. His first was back in 2003. Every time he's got to the final, and of course three times he won the title, he was the number one seed, and he's the three, number one seed again. Yeah. And, and there's no doubt that he's highly motivated. If his uh, if his body, so to speak, can hold up, especially of course his left knee, that's, that's yeah. the main um, uh, worry right now. Then uh, I think he is really, really motivated, of course, because of all the um, uh, questioning and seven, seven, fuss about this five, injury and how three. it happened and um, other things going on in the Malaysian camp. So I think he's he's really, really motivated to do well in this tournament. Yeah. Approval from Tesu Bok. He was in total command of the rally, wasn't he? Lee Chong Wai. Yeah, I feel that this man here, Wang Tzu Wei, he's um, <clears throat> had a little bit of trouble adjusting uh, to the court. Uh, a bit too short in uh, many of his uh, shots to the back court. Four, yeah, I also perhaps wonder about the accumulation of tiredness and also the uh, emotional backlash, as it were, from a wonderful achievement last week. You were there in Germany yeah. and, and he did play well, didn't he? He played extremely well, beating Chen Long. Uh, that, that was Five, uh, perhaps the surprise win of the tournament. Yeah and um, played a good match also in the final against Cho. It was just one of those matches that you often see with uh, players from the same country that they know each other so well. So um, the match itself wasn't that fantastic, but that was because Cho seven, seven, got better and better seven, uh, as soon as he uh, survived a match point uh, earlier in the tournament and really knew w which button to push on uh, Wang away. Yeah. But a great tournament, an interesting player. Um, he hasn't got his game going yet, in my opinion, but he's only down two points, so it doesn't look too bad for him. It reminds me a lot of um, uh, former uh, world great Luan Jin, who's now, seven, he's seven, been coaching in Taiwan. Six, I think he's with the seven. Hong Kong team now, a uh, former winner, I yeah. guess, here in uh, All England. Had a couple of um, really, really uh, good finals against uh, Morton Frost. Seven, seven. Eight, 
That was good length. You can see Chong Wei was a little bit hesitant because that was a bit longer than he'd experienced all through this first game yet. Seven, 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 eight. the one two way I think Chung Wei did the right thing here and, and was sort of um, waiting for it and trying to punish him it's just so accurate he couldn't do it yeah amazing he was definitely the best player at the net in, um, in last week's German Open and it would be important for Chung Wei if he can um, if he can challenge him there and, and take the net away from Wang Zhu Wei neutralize that then um, his chances are getting a lot better. Good judgment there. Seven, seven, nine, eight. Ten, eight. Curse of the commentator there. <laughs> <laughs> But also part of the solution for uh, the opponents playing to their own and played a little bit uh, further into the court, so it's more difficult for him to judge exactly. No, no, he's redeemed himself. Perfect yeah, yeah. net play again. So if you play too close and giving so him so the perfect uh, opportunity, the perfect feet, nine, so to speak, ten. then he is extremely strong at the net. But if you play a little bit further into the court, it's much more difficult. Oh, that's nice. Uh, great shot. Yeah. Yeah. Server, 11 9 interval. So a two point advantage at the mid game interval for Li Chong Wei. <laughs> was it six years in a row that he'd been uh, number one in the world? I think it was like that. Well, not only a silver medalist at World Junior Championships, one she away. Last year, he actually won gold at the World University Championships at Wagon Square in Russia. But that's a non-ranking event. But I, I think that playing, you know, for world titles, whether it's a World University title or any major title, I think is, is good grounding to set up a, a player in as part of the development path to learning to deal with big expectations, self-expectations, as much as anything. Yeah. It's always nice to know that you have played the later stages of the big events. the feeling that Wang Suwei actually needs to try and command the rallies a little bit more. I feel that he's been forced to react the whole time to whatever Li Chong Wei is throwing at him. Yeah, it's it's Chong Wei who's conducting the rallies and and we saw that uh, last week in German Open that when the opponent can sort of control the rallies, keep him away from the net, he, he lacks this ability to play himself into position except from at the net. So that, that's definitely one of the things that he's going to work on in his game to to play the really um, the the big boys of um, badminton right now, top ten in the world, perhaps. Yeah. Seven, seven, thirteen, ten. Just 
wide. 14, 10. Well, there's no doubt his victory over world and Olympic champion Chen Long last week was one of his biggest, but has had a couple of victories over Tommy Sugiato, who of course was a bronze medalist at World Championships in 2014. So we've certainly seen that Wang Shuwei has talent and with shots like that, if you need it convincing, it will show just how talented he is. Very, very quick uh, release of his smashes. Very short movement makes it difficult for the opponent to judge it. Always use the body position to judge the probability of smashes going in one or another direction, right or left, to the body. But if that movement is very short, you have very, very limited time to judge where it's coming, and that makes it difficult to defend against it. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> How did he control that? Don't mess with him at net. They tried it that last week in Germany, and everybody who tried, even Chen Long, got punched in the nose. Yeah, that's remarkable control, isn't it? Because that shuttle was tumbling from Li yeah. Chong Wei. And sometimes you can actually um, hit the shuttle below the height of the tape and even get it downwards on the opponent's side. You can sort of lift it up when you hit it. Brush over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, the, the action, the, the, the stroke action. So almost like a top spin in tennis. Exactly. Yeah. 7, 15, 13. Good shot. Yeah. And I don't know if he's seen the, the final from last week, uh, Li Chong Wei, but we saw Chou Tianqian, um, his um, fellow uh, Chinese Taipei player, uh, sort of show the way to, to uh, his opponents that the body smashes were quite efficient when he was using them against the one two way here in the picture. He has watched it. 17, 13. Oh, yes, that's nice. Seven, seven, He's a strong 14, athlete, too, isn't he? 17. Wants to wait. Good movement, physically strong legs. Good shot. Mm. Quite a test for, um, for Li Chong Wei, and uh, I think it's good for him that he sort of got a warning in terms of um, Wang Su Wei beating uh, Chen Long last week, because otherwise he might have fallen into the trap of underestimating his opponent here. Lost last year, very early in the morning. Yes, he lost in the first round. Cyprus. Only ever former All England men's singles champion since the inception of the Super Series in the first round was defending champion. <laughs> That's a record that you're not uh, too no. keen to have. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been extraordinary. Yesterday, we had uh, three defending champions lose in the yeah. first round. Women's singles, Nozomi Okuhara, men's doubles, Ivanov and Sozanov in the mixed doubles, uh, Paravin Jordan and Debbie Susanto. <laughs> and that's extraordinary when you consider in the ten previous years of the Super Series here at the Morning England, we've only ever had four previous defending champions from all five disciplines who's in the first round It's amazing and it's also a sign that um, the elite in badminton is getting much, much broader. Yeah. Oh, that's quick. Oh, brilliant! Yes. Well, 
Well, great reactions from the former champion. The defence on the forehand side. There it was. And then he's ready for the next one. And it's that ability not to panic. Lee Chong Wei, being out of position, gets ready for the next one. Yeah, and one important point, of course, because there's a huge difference being up 1916 or once away closing the gap to 17-18. So game points 20, arrived. Game point 16. A slight, slightly short lift, which you have been talking about earlier on. That's yeah, way in. Mm. Seven, seven. 17, 20. in this opening game, the world number one has got the better of the net exchanges. This is out the opening game, 21-18, in 17 minutes of play. Yeah,我們先把這個東西 uh, looks to be in reasonably good shape, and uh, I guess it's a perfect um, sort of progression for him for each liver days in the first round, and then uh, Wang Su Wei here. And if he gets past him, he's been playing good matches. It hasn't been easy matches, so he's sort of settled into the arena and could possibly keep his score and go into the final as the uh, top seed. We haven't had the the best um, sort of um, warm up or travel here to all England, the Malaysian team. Did you see that, Joe? That um, the Second Malaysian game. team had to um, uh, make an emergency Five. landing in New Delhi due to illness on one of the other passengers of the plane. Crikey. And that meant that they had to change. They were going from uh, KL to Amsterdam. Second but had to um, land in Delhi and, of course, get the passenger to a hospital mm. and then uh, change their itinerary and had two more um, uh, landings before reaching Birmingham. Mm. Yeah, it's not ideal. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, the little hold and flick from Wang Su Wei. Two, love. 
Crikey, it's not often you see Di Chong Wei sent the wrong direction, is it? Such a good move on court the Malaysian. Oh, that, that was the oh, one that Taizu Buck talked about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, one there. Clever, clever move because if he plays that straight, he actually sets up to way, uh, Wang Su Wei for um, a really good uh, spinning net shot. And um, that gave him a point. Each away. Two. Oh, that's great judgment. Two. Two. Right, was it? Two all. Well, yeah, well, wasn't Li, Li Chong Wei two love up in his second game? And he's just yeah. served a game. He should have been three. Oh. Should have been three two, surely. It's a good rally. Just one out of Yeah, it was ready to pounce, and perhaps that hovering round the net from Li Chong Wei forced Wang Su Wei into error. Interception. Four, three. He's just ready with his so quick with his racket there. Doesn't need a whole lot of uh, pre-swing to launch a good shot. Five, three. Way all other players would have lost that Five, line. That's uh, at least how I see it. Mm. I was alluding to that earlier. He doesn't panic, does he? Most other players would think, Oh, heck, I'm in trouble here, where he just sort of keeps calm and 
yeah. ready for the next one. Yeah, sometimes you feel that his vision is, is somehow one and a half times the speed of us yeah. normal human beings and, and that he's, then he can sort of see things that we see in, in regular speed. He sees Five them six. in some kind of slow motion and yeah. can react. Like. There. Oh, it's just wide by a whisker. Yeah, but, but he was so at it, and in the long run, I think five. all these small saves and getting at that one, almost getting it back, I think that's going to um, put too much psychological pressure on, on Wang Su Wei so that we'll see him make uh, a bit more mistakes um, as well, this game goes along. Because he's he will feel he's got to go for the lines more and more. Yes, I mean, it, it's more difficult to score points against Li Chung Wei than most other players. He gets seven, seven, six, one, often seven. gets one more shot back. Oof. That was in. That was in. Could have challenged once away, but yeah. didn't do it. We haven't had a challenge yet today, have no, we? No. Oh, that level. Seven, four. Seven, seven, eight, seven. One should wait some of his own medicine there. He's absolutely. definitely taking yeah. up the challenge at the net. Yeah. And I really like that because you know and by now he, he senses that one should wait is targeting the net a lot. So let me try and close it down and take your best weapon away from you. Seven, seven, nine, eight. He's making a couple of mistakes himself, Lich and Wei, especially crosses from his forehand, they, they are not really uh, set yet. And, and I don't think he can uh, afford to let uh, Wang get too much ahead. I think it's important that he closes this in two games. No need to let an um, informed player get Nine. confident. No, I agree. And it's also occurred to me, Steen, when I mean, you talked about Lee Chong Wei being highly motivated for this event, quite possibly his last all England. But with that, when you know that your chances are, this is your last ever chance, uh, you put extra pressure on yourself to try and perform. And of course, here at the All England, the biggest tournament of all. Going back to 2013, Tina Baum, this was her um, last ever tournament. No. Finished here at the All England, she won yeah. the title, her third title. So it is possible, but the huge amount of pressure that you put on yourself. Yeah, and that was the difference between uh, here with Chung Wei, who plays on after this tournament, and Tina Bound. Tina Bound, she knew that it was her last tournament. She didn't think about winning. She, she just thought about getting a good experience here in, in this arena that she loved. So, um, so I think she played totally without pressure and played some of the best badminton of her career, and especially that tournament where she beat Rachel against in the final. Here, Chung Wei's goal, uh, perhaps um, um, the World Championships in Scotland. Um, there is uh, Southeast Asian Games, I think, in uh, Malaysia, and Asian Games coming up in 18 in, in um, Indonesia. Yeah. Well, it is Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei who has the advantage, albeit just one solitary point advantage here in the second game. And, and of course, the situation in Malaysia with, with the call with the um, technical direction of Frost and, and uh, the Chong Wei forming a lead mm -hmm. um, or, uh, Whether it was Chong Wei, I think it was uh, the management's idea to form this little separate group. It adds pressure because I want to. Uh, I want to 
do well when you come out of a situation like that. Yeah. One of those have been at Super Series level. I mean, he's the outstanding athlete. He holds the record as the most number of Super Series titles of any player. Yeah. 44 to date. 12, 11. <laughs> That's amazing. 44 it's, titles. Uh, it's incredible, isn't it? I don't know how many titles Denmark got all together, but uh, I don't think we've got 44. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, good rally. Now, now this is what I think uh, Chung Wei should try and erase from his game. These rallies where he plays, but he's not, it seems at least from outside that he's not totally concentrated. Um, in earlier years, I, I wouldn't have um, been that worried because I would have expected him just to take the necessary points at the end of the game, but, but um, I mean, he gets older as well. Nobody beats um, Father Time, so... Unless you're Roger Federer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. And it's a feature of men's singles now, the dives. Oh, well, that was interesting in itself. Just proving your point there, Steen. I thought that Lee Chong Wei was gazing at the next door courts. I didn't think he was fully concentrated and, you know, had his, has his mind set. No, it's a little bit difficult to see from that because yeah. sometimes you're really focused in your head and, and, and what you can see from outside is just the eyes and uh, seven, drift away to 15, another court or something, yeah. but they don't really see what's going on there. So um, I'm not too concerned about that. Good oh, job, good job. Nice. I think he's had good timing on his... Uh, Straight smashes, especially the smashes from his backhand side, uh, Chung Wei. It's not easy to hit with good timing in this hole here. It's a really, really big arena used for indoor athletics as well. <laughs> Thank you for approving that uh, one to Wei. Sorry for your smash, but um, was out of the doubles court even yeah. that one. said he changed his mind on the next shot. Wang Su Wei. Awfully loose across court net shot. And an absolute gift for Lee Chong Wei. Look yeah. at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Not found the line. Seven, seven. Fourteen. 16. Brilliant. Yeah, but the, uh, and again, uh, Chung Wei was there. Had it not hit the line, Chung Wei would have returned it. So, if your opponent can hit the line all the time, okay, that's that's fair. Then uh, he's probably going to beat you today. But if not, then I'm going to beat him because I'm almost there. Mm. There was another line. 15, 16. Yeah, perfect placement.
Good shot. Oh, that's fantastic, Nick Dean. Yeah, I thought initially Lee Chong Wei had let the shuttle drop too low, but look at that. And then again. Play that sort of accuracy across court is remarkable. Yeah, the quality on that shot there. We saw Wang Shu Wei try the same uh, number of, a couple of rallies ago, and that was a big, big difference in the quality yes. of those two shots. Mm. He was ready to pounce, wasn't he? He read the drop shot there. Backhand drop shot. It's always a sign that a player is in trouble when they play from deep in the backhand corner. Back has to turn to the net. You can't see where your opponent is. And that's a really big problem. Seven, seven, 18, 16. That's a good lift. Oh, the spring's broken. Yeah, it didn't seven, sound seven, right, did it? 17, no, 18. Yeah, no, the spring's broken. And the team yeah. down in the springing zone. Another one to repair. Very yeah. important factor for the players that the strings are uh, durable, they cannot uh, break too easily because you probably lose a pound every time it happens. Yeah. Oh, super. I, mean, I don't think. Wang is seven, aware seven. that he can challenge 19, that one. Not that 17. I think it was an incorrect call. It was just he's got he's got to hope that it was incorrect because he really needs it. If he doesn't win this game, he's out of the tournament. So yeah, it's a good uh, opportunity to just have an extra look at it. This is crunch time, isn't it? And this is here where I feel that Chung Wei is having a lot of self-confidence and also too much self-confidence because he plays in a way that he can't afford to play when the opposition is a bit closer to him than I think Wang is at the moment. Yeah. Have the confidence on the net play there. Seven, seven. Lee Chong Wei. 20, match point, 18. Yeah, and with that accurate net shot, comes himself two match point opportunities. Yeah, yeah he needed the one. 21-18, 21-18 in just under 40 minutes of play. safely through another round, the three-time former champion. Well, job well done. Thanks his coach as always. Tai Su Vok, well, there's still conversations about perhaps what can be worked on before the quarter-final tomorrow. And he will be very happy with that indeed. So, not dropped a game so far in this year's tournament. Lee Chong Wei. And safely through 
to the quarter final. He'll play against either last year's beaten finalist, Tian Haowei, or Pranoy. <laughs> So there's confirmation, Lee Chong Wei into the quarterfinal once more. But will it be last year's beaten finalists, Tian Hao Wei, the left-hander, or Pranoy from India? They're on court at the moment, incidentally. Well, as far as our next match is concerned, it's men's doubles. And then after that, we'll have a second women's singles featuring uh, the former world champion, Ratchanik Intanon and then mixed doubles will finish the afternoon session. So as far as the men's doubles is concerned, well, this is the top half of the draw. And uh, you can see that the uh, qualifiers, uh, Liu Cheng and uh, Jiang Nan. Jiang Nan is the Olympic champion, but with a new partner. So he's had to qualify and they're already through to the quarterfinal. So, the winner of this match knows who their opponents tomorrow will be. Now, here's more players fresh from success at the German Grand Prix Gold last week in Mulheim. Left and right handed combination of Kim Astrup and Alice Rasmussen. Against the number three seats. Takeshi 